My name is Don Anderson and I'm with Martech Infrastructure. We're here at the site of a bridge restoration job on Highway 38 just south of Kelvington, Saskatchewan. Hi, I'm Jordan Graham from the Ministry of Highways and Infrastructure. Uh, I'm the site supervisor for the bridge abutment repair projects with the Primeplex resin. Uh, on highways 23 and 38. On highway 38 today with Larry Graham. This is the bridge over Duck Creek. Um, right now he's injecting the resin and filling the voids pretty well. He's moving uh, bottom to top and right now he started uh, injecting some water towards the top of the abutments where it's a little drier and it's getting a better reaction. It's a little more efficient and he's using less resin than he was before so uh, that seems to be helping. The project is going uh, on schedule it's, it's moving along fairly quickly we should be moving to the other half of the bridge later today this 920 prime flex reacts with water and then it chases the water <laughs> It pushes all the water out from behind, so any of the water Larry is injecting is being forced out once the Prime Flex 920 reacts. I'm here with Larry Graham from New Shield Restorations, uh, working on the job right now. How's the job going, Larry? Uh, pretty good. We're uh, finding fairly significant voids in part of it, and others not so much. We're, uh, we're able to get the voids filled. Uh, we're basically just trying to determine the best pro grouting program for the for any for this particular bridge. So the process is is you're working from the bottom up, right from the water level up, and uh, that's being able to fill the voids. Yes. Uh, what what are you guessing that it's like back there? What does it feel like? Uh, we got areas where we have fairly large rocks, varying probably I don't know. Anywhere from an inch to eight inches, ten inches, and they don't have any any aggregate or uh, dirt around them, so the foam will fill that, and it'll prevent anything else from washing away. That's kind of the theory. Right on, and it's filling up nicely. Yes. So I'll just pan around a bit, see what's going on. You can tell where it's been filling up because it comes out your drill holes, or what Larry calls them communication holes. So that's where you can tell that the the foam has gone in to all of the areas it's needed and it's coming out and uh, we're very happy with the results so far. <laughs> 